Hi, right, I'm Jennifer Thompson. I'm a four-time four IPF World Bench Press champion, and I'm going to give you a few tips on the bench press. Uh, one of the first things we're going to start with is uh, hand placement on the bar. Uh, most standard bars have a ring here and here. Um, a lot of people don't know quite where to put their hands. Um, there's a mathematical formula to it. What you want to do is measure the um, bones of your clavicle here to here, figure out what the width is from here to here, and you double it. And that is the space your hand should be apart. I myself use my ring fingers on there. Um, when you're placing your hands, you're doing the bench press. Um, some people complain about shoulder pain. So if you're having some shoulder pain, you might want to move them in just a tad. But if you do the distance measurement and double it, that sta that's a standard amount of where your hand should be apart. Um, the second thing when doing the bench press is your setup. One of the things I try to do is I really try to roll my shoulders under. In order to roll my shoulders under, I want to squeeze my back together. What you want to do is pretend like you're squeezing a penny in between your shoulder blades. Okay, and I keep this position through the entire lift. So when I set up for the bench press, I lay down, I push myself back, and I roll my shoulders under. I want my chest up as high as I can, and I my shoulders rolled underneath it, and I'm constantly squeezing my back together. And I want to get up as high as I can on those shoulders. So when I'm benching, I try to get up, up on the top of my um, shoulders here as hard as I can. Through the whole lift, I got my shoulders rolled back, and I'm squeezing them very tightly. A lot of people complain about shoulder pain because their shoulders, they're benching like this and they're using a lot of shoulders. You want to take your shoulders out of the lift. And by doing that, you roll them back and you squeeze your uh, back together in the back. You want your shoulders completely out of the lift. You want it to be all bench press, okay? Um, after you get that set up, another thing a lot of people miss doing is using a lot of leg drive. You'll see people up on their toes, their, their feet way back. And leg drive can give you uh, quite an advantage in your bench press. What you want to do with the leg drive is you want your feet to be completely flat and in a comfortable position. Okay? Um, you want your, your legs nice and tight, your quads nice and tight throughout the lift. However, when you're coming down and pushing off your chest, you want to be really digging your heels in. And the direction that you should be pushing your legs is sliding your head off the bench. Now you won't slide off because you'll have the weight in place. But that's the direction you should be driving your legs. So when you lay back, you get your shoulders all set. And when you're, you got real tight down here, you should be pushing this direction, like that. You don't want to be pushing up, because then your rear comes off the bench. You want your feet nice and flat, you want to be driving your heels through the floor, and you want to be pushing yourself in this direction, okay? And that gives you a lot of force to work off your chest and drive that bar to the top, okay? Um, also, what you want to do is have a nice arch in your back. Um, I'm not particularly flexible, so this is something I have to work on. One of the things that I do to keep my back nice and limber and to give myself somewhat of an arch is I use a football when I warm up. The nice thing about the football is you can let air out and make it real squishy, and as you get more limber, you can tighten it up. So when I'm warming up for the bench press, I stick this back here, and I roll over it. I get on the tops of my shoulders, get my fingers on the rings, keep my legs nice and tight, and drive. Like so. Um, one of the things you want to make sure that you're doing with the bench press is that you have safety racks. Um, with the bench press, you're working so hard, it's very easy to slip that out of your hand and you want to be real safe with that. Um, you can have the ER equipment safety racks, or they have ones that you can buy on the side. Always have a spotter and loader with you. So just to recap, you want a good finger length. You want your shoulders rolled over, under, excuse me. You want your chest up as high as you can get it. You want a nice arch with your rear end on the bench, and you really want to work on that leg drive. That's going to be real keys to getting a good bench press.